Hello, my name is Ali Youssefi. Welcome to the Test Automation and Easy Repro series. This edition, we will troubleshoot Easy Repro and look at a very common exception message, the session not created exception. Here we'll start with a quick introduction with the scenario at hand. We'll encounter the session not created exception We'll perform a demo and we'll talk through lessons learned. So periodically you may run into an exception that's identified as the session not created exception and you'll need to understand, you know, why it's happening and how to remediate it. Um, some of the common error messages you may, you may get when you're debugging your unit test is something if you're using Google Chrome, something like Chrome driver out of sync or session not created. Look for things that, that can help identify what's going on, including you know version numbers. It's very helpful from the browser driver. It'll tell you, you know, this browser driver is a mismatch with this certain version. So you might see something like this Chrome version might be must be between 76 and 77 or something. Um, you may also get a exception with a null response thrown that it couldn't necessarily find uh, the remote web driver. So it's just having trouble, you know connecting the browser driver to the browser itself. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually demo an encounter of a session not created. This is something that, that happened to me recently, so I decided we would record it and attempt to resolve it. Welcome to a demo of troubleshooting easy repro unit test. In this um, demo, we are gonna cover a exception you may encounter called the session not created exception. So you see here, I've ran this uh, previously and I got an exception message saying invalid operation exception, session not created. This version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 76 with the session not created here. What I'm gonna do is quickly uh, demo this one more time for you just so you can see it in action. So we're going to attempt to log in here, and we fail. We'll go look at our test, and we got the session not created. So when I see this here, typically what that means is that the version of Chrome I'm running um, does not match the Chrome driver. If we go look at our packages config, we'll see that we have selenium.chrome.webdriver version 76, which correlates with what we're seeing here. If I pull up Chrome, I can see that I'm on version 78.0 and so on. So this is a clear mismatch between the, the version of Chrome that I have installed, the actual browser, and the browser driver. So how I'd go, back, uh, go about resolving this is by going to my references of my unit test project going to manage NuGet packages and seeing if there's an update for Chrome WebDriver and there happens to be one. So we'll go ahead and take the latest and see if that fixes it. So now as you can see on this particular one, I've upgraded to version 77. Let's take a look. So we'll debug the test. So one issue I do run into at times is when I have updated to the latest version, C77 here, is that I'll get the file as locked by chromedriver.exe. <clears throat> Opening up task, task Manager, you can see there's, um, there's some hanging uh, processes here that we'll have to go ahead and get rid of. So I can just click on this guy and hit delete to start removing these. Okay, now I've confirmed that all of my Chrome drivers are now removed. So now we were able to correctly build the, uh, the unit test project here. So now we're hit this breakpoint on line 67. We're going to try to get past that exception message. Let's go ahead and log in. And we still have a failure. <clears throat> so looking at it, we still have a failure here. 
One thing that's also a key to point out is that this unit test project, I've updated the packages config, as you can see, to 77. There's also another another um, dependency we have, which is on this UI automation browser project. It also has a packages config that references a Chrome web driver, which now is on version 76. So you'll follow the same process of updating that one as well. All right, we're gonna run this one more time with the updated Chrome um, driver version for both the unit test project and the UI automation browser project. You see it launched here. Go back and let's just hit continue. And we see that we've got the easy repro test running, sign in, and we've successfully now logged in. And that concludes the demo for updating um, the Chrome drivers. This should resolve the session not created uh, exception. So if you see this, look for your um, your unit test project, whatever it may be called. Uh, look at the references. Make sure that packages config. It's a good place to start. That it's up to date with whatever version of Chrome you have. Also look at the UI automation browser project as well to make sure that the version of the Chrome web driver also matches up. And again, the packages config is helpful here. Thank you. Okay, so during that demo, we learned a couple of lessons, including that the UI automation browser project also depends on the browser driver and will need to be in sync with the browser that's hosted on your machine. The unit test project also depends on this browser driver. So a thought experiment going forward is to consider techniques on how to read what version of the browser is actually running locally on your environment, build agent, what, whatever it may be, and update that driver's dependency. The browser is most likely to be updated due to foreseen or unforeseen events, such as a user updating an auto update of a browser, for instance. Um, so the driver must be able to update accordingly. Finally, we'll leave with some resources, including the Google Chrome driver, the Microsoft Internet Explorer driver, how to obtain the Mozilla Firefox driver, and the Microsoft Edge driver. Thank you for watching this edition of the Test Automation and Easy Repro series. You can find my contact information in the slide here, as well as in the description below. Thanks.